guess I was about 60, 61 when I decided that active surveillance made real sense, not to take any radical action until it was indicated. That's what made me feel more comfortable. so much new information over the last 10 years or so, Ralph, that uh, you know the surgeons are operating in yesterday. Uh, it used to be one size fits all. Everyone gets an operation. And now we know that prostate cancer comes in low, intermediate, and high grade forms. And men need different types of treatment for their different stages of disease. It's so logical, but people don't realize this. And to not panic them by thinking there's only one thing to do. And don't give me an explanation, cut it out. Exactly. That's over. Yeah, and the other thing, of course, is that so many of the treatments now are less toxic and more effective than oh. surgery. So cure rates are better, oh. and side effects are less, but people aren't hearing the message. Cure rates are better, side effects are less, and we want to get that to people's attention. Exactly. Both the men who've been newly diagnosed and their families. It's terribly important that the family understands that the danger is less and that waiting is an absolutely desirable kind of treatment. Absolutely. For 80 to 90 percent of the men who are newly diagnosed. Yeah, that's a big, big slice. When a man is diagnosed with prostate cancer, a million thoughts race through his mind. He wonders about his treatment options and starts to consider his longevity. Most of the time, his doctor, a urologist, will be advising that the cancer be cut out. The diagnosis of prostate cancer often shocks men into getting treatment before they have information about all the different options. People need to know that the way prostate cancer behaves varies widely from patient to patient. Some types of prostate cancer are totally harmless and shouldn't be treated. Over the years, I've seen many men make drastic decisions with incomplete information. Some are left suffering with unnecessary, life-altering side effects. Surgery should never be done without first learning about all the many other alternatives. As a practicing prostate oncologist for over 20 years, I want to let people know that it is a mistake to call surgery the gold standard. At one time, say 15 years ago, surgery actually was the gold standard. No one had even heard about active surveillance, and back then radiation was both damaging and ineffective. But now with so many new discoveries, surgery perhaps has become the least desirable option. Ralph and I wrote this book to let people know about all the other options. Options that have fewer side effects and higher cure rates.